What I want to look at here is called total internal reflection. And I think uh, as we got to that last bit in that video, we were looking at where we had a dense medium, we'll call it water, and a less dense medium on top, we'll call it air. And we saw that when we had a ray hitting the surface, that it bent away from the normal. Now the thing is, if we call that theta, obviously theta r is going to get bigger. There's going to come a time when you get an angle where it's going to try, so this is the angle, where it's going to try and refract 90 degrees. And at that point, instead of refracting at 90 degrees, it totally internally reflects. So instead of refracting 90 degrees, it totally internally reflects. And so it actually acts like a mirror. So this would also be theta c. So that then starts to act like a mirror. Now this has a lot of interesting effects. Uh, and that angle is dependent on the difference in refractive indices. And you can easily work it out with Snell's law. What we have is a situation where if you're under the water like this, of course you can look straight up. Of course you can look out at certain angles. But there's a certain point at which when you look, you've reached a critical angle, C to C, and what you're going to see, or what you're going to be seeing, is light coming from there. So what that is, is the bottom if you like. So all this is going to look light, and this is going to look dark. Try it sometime. I call it the circle of light. Everything also gets a bit distorted because basically even stuff over here can get to you, right? So up there, there, you can get things. You can see stuff over here. But as soon as you look over there, you see the bottom. So you get this circle of light. Um, there's a few other things that this whole situation can cause, but before I do that, let's just, uh, there's a few different devices you can use. So we use prisms to bend the light. Light coming into the prism. If the prism has a critical angle of, I don't know, 42 degrees or something, and so you hit a 90 degree prism at 45, it's going to act like a mirror and do that. So we can use prisms as if they're mirrors. And so a lot of, see, basically if this whole thing is 45 degrees, 45 degrees, then you'll work out that you actually are hitting there at 45 degrees. So they use these prisms and binoculars and such things as that, and it's really quite cool what you can actually do. Um, can you figure out how we could use a prism now to redirect the light? If I now put another prism in like that, right? I could get it to go like that, boom, and I could have made my binoculars. So it's all based on the fact that this acts like a mirror when the angle of incidence there is bigger than the critical angle. So total internal reflection is used in optical devices. It causes a few other effects. There's something else to do though with going from a dense to less dense medium like water to air where we get an interesting effect and this is to do with what's called apparent depth. We've got again a, so we've got a, a fishy down here and he's having a swim and remember when you do these type of diagrams you always take one point. If we have a ray coming off that point, it's going to bend away from the normal. Right? Now, if we have another ray coming up like that, it's also going to do the same thing. If we now were an observer up here, looking down towards that fish, we're going to think that ray came from there, and we're going to think this ray came from there. So we're actually going to see the fish 
more shallow than he really is. Apparent depth. And it's because of the bending of the light as it leaves the water. So there's a couple of effects that come up quite often when we're discussing refraction. Um, substances that refract a lot. Uh, diamond, very optically dense refractive index of about 2.2. That one's, um, that's why they really glitter. I think that's all I'll do in that one. Um, I think we don't need to do any more. I've just got to get my computer thing back. Oh, I don't know what it's doing, but um, no, I didn't like my password. Just bear with me. All right.